This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hello and welcome to Perfect Person, the show where I'm perfect and you're a person. I literally ganked an ice cream sandwich on the way here in the car. Does that mean f***ed off? I don't know what ganked means. Um. Oh. By the way, when I when you started playing that, I for one second forgot I was on the podcast and kind of thought we were just listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a theme song, and I expected it's somebody so else to talk, and then I, I was like, wait, button and play the show, and it's just us sitting here honestly, listening. Such a good prank. React. Do you want to be on my podcast? And I just like see how long it takes for the guests to be like, do we t- talk? Are we listening? Are we- <laughs> Is this a pre-record? It'd be so funny to do a guest you've never met and just play. Oh yeah, I'm playing the intro. <laughs> just uh, and, and, well, and, and well, to be clear, I did not <laughs> go off okay, on the way to the studio. Mean? Steal, grab. I ganked it from the th- frizz. Oh. And, and I took it into the, and it was a sublime ice cream sandwich from Trader Joe's. Huge shout out. I'm always eating these. I'm always buying a single box. The, the tra- it are the ones with the cookies? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the one with the <laughs> okay. cookies. I don't know if we've talked about this on the show before, but to my mind, that is the best ice cream sandwich you can purchase. Oh, I agree. That's absolutely <laughs> right. It is one of the best ice cream sandwiches you can purchase for home consumption. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And for non-home? Uh, that's a really good question. And we're going to find out right after this. <laughs> so, right. No, I'm obviously joined by the Raking Ball crew. Chow! Hey, we're pretty good. Because obviously it's Chowmas. That's right. I don't have Christmas sound effects, but I wish I did. Feliz Chavidad. Uh, I'm pretty good. Pretty close. Feliz Chavidad. (laughs) Guys, holy fuck. That's very good. That is brilliant. Feliz Chavidad. (laughs) It's got to be Feliz Chavidad. (laughs) Yeah, I like it to be a little bit of a harder to understand pun. <laughs> like, Chubby like Chowmas is like too direct, you know. Police Chowmas is like you have to think about it a little bit. It doesn't just make sense. Uh, it's yeah. the, we gotta come up with this T-shirt or a sweater. Police Chowmas, Police Chowmas comes out in April. <laughs> yeah, right. We have it booked for way. It takes way too long to make. Um, but anyway, I'm obviously oh. joined, and uh, it's been a while since I've seen you guys because mm. uh, there was a thank you. And um, you know things, et cetera, have been, things et cetera. Have been crazy. I see you guys less. I don't work with you anymore. I yeah. know it's true. So I, what's been going on, Will? Why don't you give me the state of the union? Um, you know I've been stressed. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. Sure. Um, working hard. Or working hardly hard. Working. Um, looking forward to the end of twenty twenty three. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. But you know I have been making some strides uh, or at least buying things and hoping that I can build a new system. They basically, I, this is all to say that I... Will's building a bond. <laughs> <laughs> build a new system. I've been buying sort of... I've been um, buying things. So that should help. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, um, I, was, I was doing some Christmas shopping and I freaking went onto a sick-ass website and <gasps> bought myself a beautiful 2024 physical planner um, oh my and, gosh! Didn't you give me so much shit earlier this year well, for doing but that? Here's, here's the thing, Rady. What I've decided mm. about myself, <laughs> okay, is that like I'm not that organized by nature, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> um, what I'm trying to do is be more organized. And so I mm-hmm. I do still want to rely on my digital calendar, but I want the act of copying it over as a thing uh, to to just help. basically like I'm trying to be more on top of the big picture. And, and and is this you're copying over an event like uh, Will has to do his taxes, or is it more like Will's got to spend the day writing? Um, it's oh. a combination of both. I think um, <clears throat> I go to a lot of concerts. I'm going to a concert after this show. I like know. I want to keep track of that. I want to keep track of everything that I'm trying to do so that I can be, do less running around with my head cut off. Have basically. you fully forgotten about a concert before? Um, I like mean, you're like, oh, I've, I yeah. mean, yeah, maybe once or twice. It's usually I'm going with my best friend, and he will be He'll like, hey, we have, there's this concert. Uh, I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> you go to a, you're you going to a lot of concerts. I find, yeah, it's it, sort of a big thing that you do on the weekly. Yeah, but not weekly, but I mean, I go a lot. I I love going to concerts. I 
It's the best. So uh, I'm doing okay, and mm -hmm. I am looking forward. I, I also bought a desk organizer wow. and a freaking set of you know sticky notes that have like each day of the week on them, so I can freaking freaking make a plan every week. You You're know? an organizational king. Well, I I'm trying say. to be. I've largely just bought these things, but I did start writing <laughs> some goals for 2024. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I had a huge day. Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Please dish. Rainy, how was your day? <laughs> Sorry. I went to the train museum. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> what it was, was the train? Did you decide yeah, to do this? Did doesn't you sound like a rainy decision. Did a friend say we're going to see the train? No, I went by myself. Oh, oh my. <laughs> okay, so how so did you decide I'm taking myself to Because the there's nothing wrong with doing this stuff by yourself. No. I honestly think it's great. Yeah. Solo but, train. Like, and, and trains are sick. So I'm with you on that. I mean, I mean, we got to start this story even earlier. Oh. Which is, <laughs> the year is 1998. <laughs> Rainy is five years old. I, I go to a brunch place in Highland Park. Oh. And actually the server was like, oh, I just saw Miles here last week. No fucking way. Yeah. Wait, that's so funny. I know. And she was like, he was he was all babied up with his dog, Birdie. That's right. That's she was very right. nice. Oh, but wow. Also, I had to wait in line for fucking ever. And oh. then I, but then the burrito, the guy at the counter was actually really hot. <gasps> but then. <laughs> this story is taking so many I, cliffhangers. I'm not getting a sense of why you go to the train museum. It's no, not been brought it, up at all. Get there. It's okay. coming. It's she'll coming. Get there. So I go up finally after waiting in line and he, I order chilaquiles. So essentially order. And then he, <laughs> <laughs> he says, so he actually turns out, he says, how do you want your eggs? But wow. I thought he said, how many eggs? And I was like, well, I'm hungry. <gasps> so I, I, mean, I guess three. And he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, which is a lot of eggs, by the way. The three is good. It's a That's good for me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> eating three. I have been eating so much that my stomach's about to explode like often yeah. recently. <laughs> mm, you're, you're doing snake meal where you eat a bunch <laughs> And then you rest is that for the rest something of the people are saying on TikTok? Is that something you just coined right now? <laughs> is, that's a good question because I think it could be huge. No, it's it's already that. Thing. Okay, yeah. snake meal. No, no, no. I'm citing, but um. So I say like three, and he's like, "What?" And it was like really awkward, and I was like, "Um, what?" And he was like, "How do you want them?" And I was like, "Oh, over easy. Obviously, come, when it comes out, one egg." So I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I just so." <laughs> I love three, three times eggs. this amount. And then he said, "How was your day?" I thought I I was like, "I'm not risking it again." I said, "What?" He said, "How's your day?" So we're in love. Oh. Okay, and now the train museum <laughs> so, is where. And that, by the way, this guy, and I hate to I hate to naysay here, but you you found him to be of lover's talent. <laughs> yeah. And it what? was interesting. He piqued your interest. He piqued my interest, but he did not brush his hair, which I didn't like. How did you know that? Because it was like sort of all like scraggly. Scrangled. Yeah. It was scrangled. It was interesting, but he had kind of cool tattoos. Okay, that's really hot. Um, so anyways, I'm at this restaurant sitting by myself and I'm just like, there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh. So then I'm like, okay, well, I guess since I can't tap around on Instagram, mm. let me think about what I'm doing tomorrow. And this is all to say I did some work <laughs> and I was like, should we go to the train museum for the tripod? But then I got nervous. I was like, where I don't want to get kicked out again. Oh. Because we're, I think now we, the we bit have, is up. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> so we have been... Repeatedly, every on the weekly, we've been mm -hmm. being kicked out of sort of almost every establishment in town. So I was, yeah, so I was and, hunting. Yeah. So I went to the train museum to see if there was a place that we could camp out and hide. Oh. And I think we might be able to do it, but I'm thinking the abandoned zoo might be even better. That's easy. Abandoned yeah. zoo is no problem. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's my big day. Okay, that's huge. Yeah, it was a and pretty. I was moment. really interested because I was like, this train, this is hot guy going to be like, I'm really into trains, and you're going to be like, oh, oh, I thought go. he was going to go. I, yeah. There was a lot of I details wish. that sort of didn't connect. To the main, the main thing narrative. that we were told was the story wow. was about. We gotta I, go. Yeah, we gotta go so, back. <clears throat> yeah, I if, wish he had asked me to the train museum, <clears throat> but he was working hard. It was busy. Well, this is the thing. Like, there have been times where I'm like, "Is this barista? Like, are they interested in me?" But I don't think he was there's an onion in article. Me. No, that all oh, that the headline is barista not flirting with you. <laughs> well, and, and here's the thing, though. It's tough because when I was a barista, all you, I was doing was flirting. Of course, every oh. single person that came in, Men, you get women, children. Okay, not children. <laughs> <laughs> But you're just that well, you say like you're getting the tip, but it's also just like your job is to kind of be charming. Yeah. And I was being like, hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. <gasps> Winky. Winkies. Uh, we gotta get to the phone lines. Now, if you like the show, and fucking keep listening. And if you <laughs> <laughs> and if you love the show, you can join the Patreon. 
where we have ad free extended versions of every single episode, including this one, where we fucking waxed about all types of stuff. Mm-hmm. We about, really were going in. We kind of went in hard on a, on, on mostly everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, by the way, join the Patreon for bonus episodes and all that juicy jazz. Also, buy the freaking merch. <laughs> Yeah. And we're all wearing right now. This is the Heather Gray uh, University uh, crew neck. And it's obviously looking hot. It's looking steamy. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, Super thankful to everyone. (laughs) By the way, I'm super thankful (laughs) to uh, (laughs) super thankful. I appreciate everyone who's bought it in the past. And I appreciate everyone buying in the future. We're twinning, by the way. And you can get that sheesh at perfectperson.shop. Feliz Chau Vidad. Feliz Chau Vidad. It's just, it's so good. I can't even think of anything better. But we got to get to the phone lines and answer those people's questies. Bring. All right. Well, I, okay. This is interesting. Somebody's scheming with a boy that she likes. Oh, here we go. That's interesting. Hi, Miles. Um, my roommate and I, we did a little scheme and, and now our our progress has been halted and it involves this boy that I like and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to progress the scheme. So I've been training my back whole life advice. for this. Thanks. Oh my God. I'm I mean, I scheming. love a, I love a scheme well, with a boy. I, can I just say that that was something that I very directly did as a youth is oh, yeah. that I was Schemed. always trying to come up with a scheme for like, instead of just like oh, yeah. getting to know someone and like being confident and being like, Hey, let's like hang out being like, well, what if I can find a way so she's alone at the perfect time and I can just like, then I that can be my moment of like, yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. You just like need to have a conversation. No, I remember. I was trying to do a scheme. But in though. high school, sometimes it's not like you can't just talk to For sure. Well, no, I was so you have to was, think about was, it. You're yeah. like, and I'm overthinking and I'm obsessed with this, have this huge crush on somebody. And so in my head, I'm like, how can I plan the perfect moment yeah. where like, oh I won't be God. embarrassed and they'll be into it. And guess what? Shit never worked. I'm oh like, I remember too, just being <laughs> For like, me at least. Hey, can I talk to you? And everyone's like, <gasps> and then like, you go to like, a group of people and you're like, Hey, can I talk can to I you? Can I talk to you for a second? Pretty well, sexy. Well, it's like you just am like, cause I don't want to talk to them in front of everyone. Well, Although, of course. I remember one time though, <clears throat> I was in my student production of Footloose. I was Willard. <laughs> I was a sophomore. And I asked this senior girl to prom Whoa. and it was in the, she was like, Oh, like I'm going to prom, whatever. And I was like, we should, I was like, we we're all getting dressed for the dress rehearsal or something. Everyone's like getting dressed for the thing. Whoa. And I was literally like, uh, yeah, like, do you, would you want to go to prom with me? And everyone in the room was getting dressed just goes <laughs> like, they, like it was like everyone in the room was like listening to this conversation. Oh my God. And she of was course, like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Like I'd actually love to, like we could go. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Just as well, like, this is know. really nice. What a nice, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> you didn't have to scheme shit. You just fucking walked in. Well, and that, your <laughs> scheming is so fun. But the, the, that was the rare opportunity that I didn't scheme. But I feel like often it's like, yeah, you're like, well, I'm going to go on a walk with this girl. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ask her after class. Then, mm-hmm. you know, like you're trying to all... find the best way to do it. I'm going to get her friends pulled away. I don't want to ask to talk in private. So I'm going to have my friend get her friends away. And it's like, what yeah. are you doing, man? Just, no. just walk up to the plane and swing. You know, oh, I'm so, still doing that. I'm honestly. still, Rainy's still scheming with the barista from whatever. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, had I known. How many eggs do I want? What about your number? <laughs> Three. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to the train <laughs> museum later. <laughs> you want to meet up, link up at the train museum? <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, and Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Mm, I'm talking about iconic comedy duos. But guess what? What about a perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? Yeah, that's going to be you and Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the do we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify's there to help you grow. Whether you're selling clams down by the shore or a special little outfit made out of wood, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system wherever and whatever you're selling. Shopify's got you covered. I've obviously become a little mogul, and I sell little things online, and so far it's been going well, but it does get my gears turning for what if I wanted to scale this in a big way, or what if I wanted to do like a really custom order or project? What's cool about Shopify is it could help me out now as a little business owner, just sort of selling my wares, and it could help me as I dominate the biz, making everybody excited about my special candle that smells like me. 
Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US, and Shopify is the global force behind all birds, Rothy's in Brooklyn, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash perfect person, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash perfect person now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash perfect person. Hydration's basically pretty good for you, the experts say. And I'm somebody that forgets to hydrate pretty much all day. I'm grinding emails, I'm thinking about huge ideas that are so smart that they make my brain go big. But I forget to hydrate, because I'm exhausted. Even though I haven't gone for a run, I'm still in need of a hydration boost. You don't need to be an athlete to need extra hydration throughout your day. From Zoom meetings and workouts to long travel days and fun nights out, Liquid IV makes it easy to stay hydrated. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep up, water. And now with their hydration multiplier comes in three delicious sugar-free flavors, white peach, green grape, and lemon lime, a proprietary zero sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners. I've been sucking down these little liquid <laughs> IV sticks on the daily. I find that they're especially helpful because I sit at my desk and I need a little bevy and I have a big old glass of water and I like to drop one of these liquid IV sticks in there so I know that I'm getting hydrated. Liquid IV contains eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness and you know you gotta have it for daily use before a workout when you feel run down after a long night out and on long flights. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code PERFECTPERSON at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code PERFECTPERSON at liquidiv.com. Hello? 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 You called Perfect Person, and I'm here to help you with your scheme so you can get your dream boy. And I'm obviously here with the Wrecking Ball crew. Ciao! Oh my god, oh my god, hello, hello. Hello, hello. We're going to need a fake name for you, and it's got to be... <laughs> Bubble. Bubble. We couldn't be more excited Bubble. to help you find love. So tell me about yourself. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So um, I'm a college student. Um, and I have a little crush mm -hmm. on Ugh. this boy in my class. <laughs> and uh, what's his major? Biomedical engineering. Careful. Care Rainy just said careful. <laughs> why would that? Why? Rainy's trying to imply that biomedical engineering students have fuckboy energy. <laughs> I know it sounds really bad and like a lot of the guys in my major are really bad, but he's actually really sweet. And I met him through another one of my friends who is really good friends with him. So. Hashtag not all biomed majors. Biomedical. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's a biomed major, but he's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, he is really sweet. Okay, okay, so you continue. met him to your other cute, friend, cute, cute. and is this the person you decided to come up with the scheme? What's the scheme? How did it get waylaid? I love okay. the scheme. <laughs> yeah. The scheme, the scheme, okay. So my, my other friend, um, I need a fake name for her. Julie. Julie. <laughs> Bubble, Bubble and Julie. Julie. Julie, okay. So <laughs> I met the boy through Julie, but the scheme is with my roommate. Okay. okay. So me and my roommate, who's like my best friend, we're trying to come up with like a way to scope out if the boy might also like me back. Okay. Yes, love. love this. Okay, this is a classic. Classic, I know. Without like revealing mm -hmm. that I like him. Yeah. Couldn't be more mm -hmm. classic. Easy. Couldn't be more classic. Easy. So that yeah. way you're not investing <laughs> anything. You, know, you don't want to make him feel weird. You don't want to get involved. You just want to know like, is he even interested at all? Exactly. So I'm just trying to gauge my chances. And since Julie is such good friends with him. Oh, yeah. We were like, okay, like, let's use Julie and see if he likes me. So my roommate knows Julie, but like, she knows of her. Like, she doesn't really know her that uh -huh. well, yeah. you know? She doesn't know her soul. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my roommate DM'd Julie on Instagram with my permission. So I was with my roommate the whole time this was happening, but Julie doesn't know that I know that my roommate DM'd her. And was like, like, you know the boy this boy, right? And Julie was like, Yeah. And then my roommate was like, Okay, so like I know my roommate pretty well, like we're very close, and I've been getting these vibes from her <gasps> that she likes this boy. And okay, obviously we're oh. making it sound 
speculative, but my roommate knows that I like him. That's yeah, your good. roommate's wearing a wire, and she's like, <laughs> yes, I think exactly, that my roommate exactly. is she's, into, into... She's a part of a sting operation. Yes, I love a sting. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, is Julie has not really responded, mm. and... I don't know how to proceed with the scheme. Fatal flaw, it's, yeah. Because I feel like she doesn't respond because she doesn't feel comfortable like talking about me behind my... Basically, she's being a good friend by not revealing oh. my... And, oh. and conspiring with other people about me. But like, I, I, I want her that. to do it. Yeah. I just can't tell her that I want her to do it. How close are you with the boy? Okay, so <clears throat> I've known the boy for like a couple semesters. Um, and we've only like really talked in passing, but this semester, like we have a class together where it's me, Julie and him, mm. and we all sit together and we talk like a lot in the class cause we don't really do a lot of paying attention. Um, yeah. and also in the class, there's like the class is two hours long. It's kind of ridiculous, but there's a 10 minute break in the middle. So we always talk during that. And also he has brought me chocolate in exchange for taking notes in the class one time. Aww. So it's cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. But like, I don't know if he's just being friendly or, if, or if he likes me, I want to pass this over to Rainy because I really feel like wow, this is you. something that Rainy may be directly experience herself. <laughs> of course. That's right. So of course in multiple multitudes in every parallel universe, I've experienced this. I would say, I mean, my first instinct, do you follow him on Instagram? I do. I followed him last night and he <gasps> followed me back in like 30 minutes. Let's go. Here we way. go. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay. That is a positive indicator. I was just going to say swipe up on his story. Not yet. In like probably three weeks. Oh. Swipe up. But the thing is, is that we have three classes less of that class and I won't have any classes with him next semester. Now, obviously, I think somewhat into antithetical to the people on this show, I would say that the way that I would want to handle Do not this, say ask him out. Do not say it. Well, <laughs> I'm curious, Rainy, and what's your hesitation? Just that it opens you up to a vulnerability? I do think it opens you up to a vulnerability. It's mm. also less fun. It is less fun. Well, there, I think there's something fun about a scheme and I certainly like the idea of what you have going, but I do think that probably the more effective way Let's say you wait a couple of days and Julie still doesn't get back uh, to your roommate. Then, then maybe you dive in and you you re, you talk to Julie yourself because you guys know each other. You've been in classes together. Like if you're actually friends, yeah. you could have a conversation. Like, I'm, Look, I'm this pretty is close. With, yeah, you're close to I'm, Julie. I'm pretty close with Julie, but the thing is, is like Julie's also pretty close with the boy, and I don't want to put her in a weird position. Well, first of all, trying to fuck your classmate is like chess. <laughs> Yes, okay. I know, it's exactly it really is. It's like, like, it's like chess because the you, you got to scheme because here's the thing though, it can end sour because you also don't want like it, especially in college, you don't want that guy to move on being like, yeah, she was like into me. Like you don't want to give yeah. fu biomedical yeah. majors any exactly. additional credit that right. they don't These deserve. Fuck boy bio These fuck boy biochem yeah. guys, right? <laughs> yeah. So I do get that. Yeah. And I think that it's like, yeah, if, if you guys were a little bit older, then maybe I'd just be like, yeah, you should ask him a coffee or something. But it seems mm -hmm. like in the scenario, coffee is, there's so much red tape. Yeah. That yeah. You can't even ask him to coffee. No. Exactly. However, what I think you should be doing we go. is first of all, <laughs> Do you think that Julie wants to bang the boy? I was well, wondering that, that too. I was going to wonder. That no, was also my okay. question. No. Because me and my roommate filled my roommate's mom in on the whole situation to get her. <laughs> yes. Let's get her on the horn. <laughs> <laughs> she, was really, she was really concerned about that as well. But mm -hmm. Julie has a boyfriend that's been very serious. Okay. So like, okay. Great. How, uh, were, they, were, they dating, were they dating from high school? Okay, they were, but then they broke up for like uh -oh. a year and now they're back. Okay, they did turn I, don't, look, I, I don't mean to sow dissent into the situation, no. but Julie is a backstabber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't think Julie's a backstabber. I just think that like, I don't know. You're like, you keep bringing up how close Julie and the boy are. It's just something to keep in mind that may, not mm -hmm. even maybe Julie is into this guy, right? but maybe just Julie is friends with you, friends with the guy, and it's like messy for yeah. Julie to, to have involved, you guys though. be yeah. involved yeah. at all. So what I think you should do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but yeah. so I don't, I still don't know how to proceed. Like, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Bubble, bubble, don't you worry, because I'm about to I'm about to blow your mind. 
<laughs> the American Collegiate Study Group is the horniest possible place that could okay. even exist. Okay, now this is a really good oh point. God, what? So uh, I remember being in a study group. My One of my best friends, Jay, freshman year, me and Jay were in a study group with this girl who did not give a shit about us, and we both had big fat crushes on her. <gasps> it is a hotbed for college students to want to bang each other. And yeah. you and and Julia and the boy all sit together. So Yeah, this is a pull in one. You Julia and the boy into a study, study group room, and then, you know, things can develop. You just kind of play it cool, and you see how he's feeling, and you're spending more time with him that way. And by the way, um, here's the, the honestly, if, if Julie, it sounds like, is sort of a straight-A student. She's top of her class. That's what I'm hearing. Here's a, My <laughs> honest plan to this is going, hey, do you two want to do a study group? It's a group text situation. Yep. And you're just going to fucking keep on harping on the study group till you guys meet up. <laughs> yeah. You hang out with Julie, maybe. Julie sounds fun. You guys have a study together. Mm -hmm. However, the real key is you do the study group and you say, I'm a little hungry. After. Yeah. yeah, this is good. I'm a little hungry. This is really good. Mm -hmm. And it could be after Julie's already walked to her car that you say you're mm -hmm. hungry. Or you, maybe you it's during. Julie you to walk, her you car. walk Julie. <laughs> Julie, get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. I'd like a campus dining hall. <laughs> but I think a study group is going to be the way to go because it's your natural in. It's and, your organic and in. It is completely organic because you got you actually have to study. You probably have finals coming up. Yeah. What's the class? What's the class? Theory of circuit. Oh my god! Oh so my electrical theory engineering. Of yeah, that, you're that gave me so much anxiety. I was just like, I could not take that class. Three I would us, fail. Yeah, I, would I was fail. like, I was like worried about the midterm. <laughs> you mentioning the name of the class. I would say that the three of us, the wrecking ball crew, I include Miles in that. Uh, we don't know how electronics work, but of we course. use them plenty. So I'm the opposite. Like I know how the circuits work, but I can't use a thumb drive. <laughs> yeah, that's how. That's interesting. I once dated famously the guy who um, famously famous. I've mentioned him like a lot of times. Um, the guy who now works at the New York Times crossword puzzle, and he couldn't open a photo on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love this. It's a great bit. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't open. You couldn't open. Him. You were sorry to interrupt you. Well, he was just trying to show me a photo of like his parents' new dog from messages. He couldn't open it, and I was like, I can't. I don't understand. You work on. You made this. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. Yeah, but oh, wow. anyways, okay. Here's another big move because you do this in study hall, but in case that doesn't work, throw a party. What? Yeah. Okay, now this is a good idea. Let's fucking go. By the way, if you threw a party or you were just going to a party and yeah. you invite in a group text Julie and the boy, yeah. Yeah. then it's like natural. It's like, oh, my friends from this class, you should come to this party. Yeah, yeah. and because you're going to get to your fucking final. And look, if you're like me, you, you stay a little extra so you can party after all the finals are over, right? You get a little extra time I was there. I was going to Denver immediately, but uh, I respect well, that. I, I think that my <laughs> small college had a very fun like post-finals yeah, we were time. Party. We were fucking getting one. Uh, the, but I would just say that, yeah, like you can you could do the study group, kind of feel it out. You know, even if Julie's there, she won't walk to her, your, her car with you, even though you keep insisting on doing that. Yeah, uh, yeah. like like even if you're just hanging out with him, you're chilling, you're studying, you're getting to know him a little bit. And then you if you host a party, especially where you're like, let's blow off steam of being done with finals. Yeah, like he'll come. Yeah. If I you, honestly, he's been in your study group, he'll he'll come. I think that you invite them both and then offline with him and as sort of like a jokey, like, oh, I really care about this. But like, I think you could like put pressure on him. Like, oh yeah, you're going, right? Like you're going. Like, oh yeah, do you want to yeah, come? That's flirting. Yeah. That's in the big, yes. yeah. But he can't after that be like, go to his friends and be like, oh, she was obsessed with me. It's like, oh, she just wanted you to go to a party. That's yeah. like different than, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you I know? think if all of this fails, sending him a text that just says, I think I need help with my circuits. And then, like, it's what emoji? Sort of the Merman emoji? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. laptop emoji. He is really smart, so that could work. And I'm already in a group chat with him and Julie. Great. Which is That's great. really and great. Yeah, you've got his number. And I think the study group thing is probably the best, because I'm not really a partier. I don't really have... Well, first of all, I don't really... I'm in a very small dorm. I don't really have a place to host a party. A dorm party is so fun, though. Yeah. I love a dorm party. But I also... But you don't have to, you don't have to throw one. I don't care. Because of finals. Like, we're not... Allowed to play music out loud. Narc oh, alert. Narc. Lame. I know. <laughs> so lame. I remember being invited to study groups, and it was like if there was someone I had a crush on in the study. Oh, group, you want to like, go? Wait, well, then I'm definitely. Yeah, going. I'll go. Oh, she's oh, gonna yeah. be there. Oh like, my god, that's cool. I yeah. don't even have that much. Yeah. Smart today. So <laughs> yeah. I'm actually also like forcing proximity right now because I'm applying to the reach lab right now. Like. Like as we speak, like I have the email pulled up. That was what I was doing when you called. Oh, when you called, lab. I'm applying to the research lab that oh. he works in now. Oh, that's really good because it'll give you a lingering connection. Now you do want to be careful that 
you don't if this ends in <laughs> flames, mm-hmm. you don't want to be committed to being yes. around this person. But I think that yes, you have true. I think you've got your head on your shoulders and I think you have biomedical beneath your wings. Mm-hmm. And I think the study group's gonna bring you in this in this guy who we didn't name, we just called him the boy, which I actually really liked. Yeah. The boy. Um I think this is gonna bring you guys closer <laughs> together and I'm proud of you, Bubble. I'm proud as well. We love Thank you, Bubble. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> I love you guys. We love you, Bubble. Well, you have a fantastic <laughs> evening, Bubble, and thank you so much for calling in and being on the show. Thank you for answering my questions. Absolutely happy to. You have the best time. Bye. Bye. Two big things. First of all, Whoa. I shouldn't have said I don't care about her. I was like, I don't care if you throw a party. Weird thing to say. But also... <laughs> <laughs> this is a segment we like to call Rainy's Regrets. Rainy's re- Immediate Regrets. Rainy's Immediate Regrets. <laughs> um, you could have a Call Your Daddy style podcast. What's that? What do I do? Well, like you just are like, okay, and then once you are hooking up with him, here's what you do. Oh my God, that's so funny. Will it be sort of- <laughs> It'll be a special episode. There's something think- funny about that because it's like me, a grown man, giving, <laughs> yeah. giving sex oh, advice. Oh yeah. We, we, we ran into this. We ran into this on the high episode we did, the last <laughs> one we did, which was- just like there was a moment <laughs> where we're like a lot of the calls are really randy and we're like trying to give our we're like not we're trying to straddle the line between like, well, it's like yeah, oh, we're just right. like you're fun we're just like doing some fun content and then like here's some hardcore sex advice from people who definitely know how to do it good <laughs> Right. But that is the caller daddy model is funny that it would yeah. be funny for me to do just like an explicit sex episode. Like what you're going to want to do. <laughs> to be honest. Is that- <laughs> oh, Miles, I, yeah. You, you, you wait to do this. You book like a sex expert guest. A sex expert. Like there's, there's some, there are some people who are like, you know, sex therapist slash personality. I should just book, have, I should have Kelsey them. on. Yeah. Have Kelsey on. <laughs> and just do like a, we're only, every call is hardcore. By the way, that'd be a great fucking episode. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. Uh, um, yeah. Anyway, but she was, that also reminded me of how I went to a dorm party. I was the only upperclassman. I went to a, my friend, my friend's ooh, freshman ooh. year dorm party went as an upperclassman. I went and we were like, this is so funny. Cause we're like seniors, but we'll go. Cause like whatever, yeah. like, uh, and he was a sophomore. And uh, it was the beginning of the year and the RAs came and then me and my friend were like, oh, we don't go here. And they were like, really? Well, we need to see your IDs. I was like, okay. And I gave him my fake ID because we were drinking. Yeah. It said I was over 21, but it's in my real name. And my friend was like, I don't have my ID. They're like, all right, whatever. You can go. And I was like, fuck. I already you gave him my ID. That. They took my name. They looked it up in the system. And then I got summoned to honor court <laughs> for lying to an RA. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I was like, fuck. And then I had to go in front of honor court and I had like an attorney that was an honor, a student being like, we just came with a stack of papers being like, let me just tell you, I see all these cases all the time. And I had to go in front of these two fucking dweeb ass looking kids. (laughs) And they were like, so basically you understand (laughs) everything that's going on. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, you guys are like younger than me. And I'm like, (laughs) And what the threat that they were threatening me with was they were like, you could get probation for this. And you're like, I'm a senior. I I was like, no, the problem was I was a senior or maybe I was a junior. I don't remember. But I was like, the problem was if I got put on probation, I couldn't represent the school in any capacity, which meant I couldn't perform. So I was like, that was all I was doing yeah. every day. I yeah. was like, oh, then no. I'm fucking drop out maybe. Yeah, I was like, yeah. if I get probation, I may drop out for a semester. So basically what you're saying yeah. is going to a dorm party almost made you drop out. Yeah, but well, I probably like, shouldn't have lied. I probably, no, honestly, the real advice yeah. is I should have been like, I don't have my ID. Yeah. <laughs> that was the problem. Anyway, yeah. Randy, do you have any more regrets before you go to the next call? Um. Well, I'm just sorry to hear about that story. <laughs> That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's take another call here. Dun 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 da dee da. Hey Miles, um, I had a friend over recently, and they're a couple years younger than me. And I gave them some chips, like set out chips for our little movie night, and they licked their fingers between oh. reaching into the bag, and they also said num num num. <laughs> That's themselves. almost worse. Ooh. But I could hear it. Let me know what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Let okay. Me know if I can do anything else. Wait, let me know if I can do it. I mean, we're going to need to hear all about this person and their sort of. I mean, that's a cardinal sin for a shared chippy. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, free trial period. I guess I'll be smart enough to cancel at the end of the month. Wrong. 
Basically my entire life I've prompted the free trial period and I forgot about it at the end of my account and the way they do it is very sneaky and it's very tricky but thanks to Rocket Money I am annihilating these pesky little subscriptions that I forgot about or just noticing that, wow, I've spent so much money on this over a year and I don't think I barely used it. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills. I can see all my subscriptions all in one place. I know what I'm spending. And if I see something I don't want, then I can cancel it with a tap. Because Rocket Money is reaching out to those businesses and being like, yeah, by the way, he doesn't want it anymore. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, yeah, and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash perfectperson. That's rocketmoney.com slash perfectperson. Rocketmoney.com slash perfectperson. It's also really good for budgeting stuff, and it tells you how much money that you spend on the monthly, and when that number changes, then I find that that's also very helpful, so you should get it. Get Rocket Money. Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You called perfect person, and I'm here to call you back. I'm with the Wrecking Ball crew. Ciao. Oh, fuck. What? what the fuck? Okay, I'm really high. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Well, I'm so... so hey, I mean, we, we just love to solve your problem. It sounds like a big one. The num 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 situation. Yeah, I, that... The licking of fingers, reaction. I just couldn't... Yeah. I can't do it. Oh, my God. This is all I could have hoped for. Okay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to need to give you a name and it's got to be Cheeto. Now, yeah. Cheeto, Topical. Uh, Thank you. Cheeto, I'm going to need to hear what happened from the horse's mouth. <laughs> so basically, I had friends over. We've been watching the Twilight series. Um, we were on right. Eclipse and right. I set out the talkies mm. and they nice. were consumed. And I honestly, it was so invested in the movie and my little running commentary that like, I didn't notice the om nom nom. Like my partner actually told me about that, but <laughs> I did notice some finger licking and they like at one point got up and got a paper towel, but they never washed their hands. And oh. they just continued going back into the bag. Were they high? Like, was this person fully sober watching Twilight, or were they high dipping their... Because the reason I ask, A, because you brought it up uh, before, A, you're super high right now, so shout out to you. Shout but, out to Weed. Yeah. Um, shout out to Weed. <laughs> a lot of cannabis is perfect. Keep <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I would just say that, like, because it's one of those things where if this is a sober person doing yeah. this, they just don't have good etiquette. But if they're high, they're probably just being thoughtless mm. and stupid, and you could confront them a little differently. Mm. And I don't, yeah. I don't mean confrontation in like the big capital C kind of way, but like the next time this comes up, you should call them out and be like, hey, that's gross. Don't do that. In my opinion. I honestly, here's what you do. I don't even think, I think you do it in an even better way, Will. Okay. What you said, but even better. You're the perfect person. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> here's what I would do. Okay. Next time you have this person over and you have chips, because if this isn't going to be a repeat affair, you're never going to see them again. Mm -hmm. Then it's not worth bringing up. However, mm -hmm. you bring put chips out. You're dumping them into a little box mm -hmm. for everyone to have. And mm -hmm. you go, no dippy fingy in mouth when you put it in the chippies. Okay, guys, that is my cardinal mm. rule. You, That's good. You give the rule as if you didn't even know they and broke it. you're saying it. it to the whole group, but you're really just mm. saying it to the one person I'm, who was Yes, doing it. I'm yeah. paranoid about germs, so make sure if you lick these fingies, you don't put them back in the chippies unless you wash yeah. your hands. Yeah. I, and say like, honestly, these are finger licking good and you could do a little sachet. Yeah, sachet? Yeah. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. yeah, I will say my, um, my answer is Get separate bowls. Oh, one bowl for that person. Hey, here's your little <laughs> well, your bowl. No, get like three bowls, set them out, and then sort of track. Like, okay, she's eating it from that. Yeah. I'll eat it from this side. Maybe sit on the other end. But do you, yeah. uh, to me, this is a situation where like we should all know like this is not it's not acceptable to lick my fingers yeah. and then grab more chips. Like that implies to me this person has not been confronted on their behavior. And like, mm. look, we've yeah. all done weird, gross stuff when we're high and we're just trying to get by like everybody mm. else. But oh yeah. <laughs> 
that doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> that it's okay. And like sometimes somebody just applying a light corrective actually helps you in your whole life. Yeah. So Rainy, you're, the reason I don't mm. like your solution is because it's just like, <laughs> no, I'm going to accommodate hey, well, here's it. here's why I don't like what you yeah, said. Yeah, and Rainy, here's why <laughs> Will's going to jump down your throat. Well, I, I'm With the mansplaining saying, again, Will. I'm, well, sometimes it's just men explaining, okay? But, oh my um, God. <laughs> Will's fucking canceled. We did it again. He's done, dude. No, I'm just saying like, this to me seems like uh, you guys are pretty young. This could be a person. There are many. My parents have always ta- talked about people they knew growing up who had like terrible table manners and would just like eat with their mouths open. And, you know, they they, they like had these habits that were kind of set and there was nothing to do about it. Mm. But you're at the point where people could absolutely still like uh, I think having the rule is a reasonable non-confrontational approach. Mm-hmm. The other way to do it is do, mm. do things exactly the same, then call them out in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Which I know might seem harsh, oh. but if they're your good friend, you're just saying, hey, that's gross. Don't do that. You're not saying, hey, I hate you. you or know? you could be okay. saying, are you licking your fingers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just call it out. Yeah. Don't, don't even put a judgment on it because oh. doing it in of itself is should be enough. Like, mm. unless this is a person who's just like, yeah, I'm fucking dirty. And by the way, I would probably <laughs> only dirty. say, are you yeah. licking your fingers if she was my sister? I don't know if I would do that to the public. So no, I actually I, maybe kind of take it back. for a sister? Yeah. Oh, are you doing that? Well, see, but I, I think if you're good okay. enough friends with somebody, it's just not an unreasonable thing, especially if you're hosting and they're your chips. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. is why it's acceptable to set a rule. Mm-hmm. Like, just remember, don't. It's like, you shouldn't have to set a rule. <laughs> it's like, you ever <laughs> see a sign that's like, don't flush pennies down the toilet? And you're like, who is doing that? Well, that sign was there because someone did. Because someone did. Yeah. Someone did. Yeah. yeah. 100%. So mm-hmm. you can put up a sign. That's the most passive progressive way to handle <laughs> That is, yeah. No licking fingers <laughs> and sticking them back in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, why are there so many signs? The other thing that I'll say is Takis are a little spicy. And yeah. maybe they were like, mm-hmm. I, I needed like a little, they needed to have a little yeah. release. So they were licking their fingers. And yeah. if, you, if you want to be even over the top, you mm-hmm. can get like wipes, like wet wipes so that people <laughs> can clean great. their fingers. Or you can get like, chopsticks for the table. Uh-huh. Chopsticks everybody is gets not their a own chip chopsticks. Idea. Holding a oh, chip with a cho- chopsticks is not like a everybody good idea. take your chopsticks. <laughs> I think it would be I hard like to maneuver the, a crunchy. I like the, where your head's at, you're trying to think outside the box, yeah. but I think practically speaking, it would cause a create a mess. Rainy is thinking outside mm. of the bun, and that's why we appreciate it. Thank you. Outside of the bun. <laughs> um, but uh we hope this helps. It certainly helped us. Uh, thank you. I actually I have something to say about the shaming, the naming and shaming. Okay. Whoa. Um, That is the part that I'm like focusing on because I have like childhood trauma about that. So Mm. like in first grade, I was picking my nose and my friend Denise looked across the desk at me and it was silent reading time and she just mouthed the words, you pick your nose. (gasps) And that devastated me, but it worked. Let me tell you, it worked. I mean, so I think that I might try that. Denise is such a little prude, by the way, because yeah, I, I mean, pick my nose. It. You're in first grade. <laughs> I'm exclusively picking my nose all the time. And you do it today. <laughs> and I absolutely did it today. Yeah. To make all the nose pickers feel but seen out I, there. I learned. You ate it, though. Oh. Did you eat it? I don't eat my nose pickers, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you do with them? Put Wipe them in a tissue. Uh, when when kids talk about picking skin. their nose, they're talking about eating it. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's true. The... <laughs> <laughs> Which is gross. And I'm thinking about it now and I'm getting grossed out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, well, anyway, yeah, we think that you need to put up a slew of signs, have some wet wipes and publicly shame her in the comfort of your own home. But we also mm-hmm. didn't need to do the om nom nom part. Oh, oh that om nom nom is actually, I think, cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think that that's unfortunate. And I hate to say it, but so when she's eating, she's going, num, num, num. like she's like saying it after yeah. she takes a bite. That, that's obviously not really a problem. It does maybe bother me. <laughs> if I did that in front of you, you wouldn't think I was being funny. Was she doing it ironically? No. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I'm pretty sure that from your description mm-hmm. that she was doing it, comp- it was like, and look, we all have our own little things and, you know, people do their own little things, whatever. But like, this was, yeah. if you were doing it, it would obviously be a bit. Because you would make a huge, you'd go hot, like you would I'd go make a stink nuts. about it. it would, you, when Miles is doing a bit, you know. <laughs> okay. okay, that is enough. <laughs> anyway, I know Miles has been trying to get off this call for maybe five. Minutes. That is not true. Oh well, well, yeah. Excuse That's you. That's fine. I can fuck off. It's fine. No, never. How fucking <laughs> dare you, Will? Will is a fucking crazy person. And by the way, we appreciate you calling in. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. That may be bannable from the studio. I can't believe you said that. She said, I can fuck up. She's stoned, man. She's laughing. You ruined her high. She laughed.
This is crazy. I don't think it's that crazy. You're on probation. You're a busy man. You can't represent the show. <laughs> when we call and say, okay, Miles is here with the Ranking Ball crew. Ray, me and Randy say ciao. And then Will says, hey. <laughs> For just the rest of the episode, Will's also here. Okay, here's another call about a girl's trip gone wrong. Another one? We've taken... <laughs> What? Well, here's the thing, Will. We've taken a lot of trips. Every girl's trip is different. That's very true. And yeah. in this situation, it's about a girlie that's not invited to the trip. <gasps> See, that's sad. How do I tell a friend that's been kind of shitty to me recently oh. that she's not invited on the girl's trip? <sighs> Call me back, please. See, how do you break it? This is similar. This like, is hard. Me and Rainy are going on a girl's trip. Will's not invited. <laughs> <laughs> And the girl's trip is saying ciao. And we're saying ciao <laughs> as a goodbye. Because it can be hello and goodbye. No, I know that. I actually do know that. Ciao. ciao. For Felice Chavidad. Well, again, that is so good. We're only going to need to call the girl's trip and get all of this tea about what is going on with their weird friend. Hello? Hello? hello. I'm Miles Bonsignore, host of Perfect Person, and I'm here with the Wrecking Ball crew. Ciao. 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 And also, Will is going to be here oh as well. Oh, my God. Will's on the call as well. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I I hopped off the subway to take this call, and I'm not home yet. So. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, if you, if you have the time, we'd love to speak about with you about the girls' trip gone wrong. We really want to know about it, but only if you have time. Only if you have time, unless you need oh, to. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, perfect. Absolutely. Thank you for getting off the train. Oh, my gosh. We're hearing the sounds of New York <laughs> City. New York City. <laughs> is it New York, or is it a different Oh, one? I wish. I wish. <laughs> Not nearly as cool. Oh, gotcha. I guess I'm I... trying to get to a quieter place. I'm so sorry. Oh my god! Don't I apologize. Love how you're like in a random place in the city. Yeah, that's it's just cool. like someone you've never been before because you never get off at that spot. That's right. Are you? Yeah, don't get lost. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No problem at all. I'm good. We're so excited to have you on the show. Uh, me and Rainy as the <laughs> crew, and of course Will as well, who's here in the studio. And uh, oh my gosh. Why, why don't you give us a debrief for what's going on in your girls' group? <laughs> Here's the overview: is yeah. um, I'm in my last year of university. Okay. Me and it. all my friends. Uh huh. And you know, once we start working, it's going to be really difficult to go on trips together. So we're like, this is the perfect time yeah. to go on a trip. And we're like, this is great. Mind you, our friend group is like five people. What we're going to have to do is give them all names. <laughs> we're going to have to give them yes. all names. Yeah. And you're of course, do I get a name too? Yeah, you're going to have a name and it's going to be Velma. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be Velma. It's going to be Scooby. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be it's going to be Fred, <laughs> and it's going to be Daphne, yeah. and of course Shaggy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think Shaggy Obviously. may have to be the Shaggy may have to be the one that's not invited to the girls' trip. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy's been a bad boy. <laughs> Fred is in though. So yeah. okay, why don't you give and me Fred is hot and Got Fred it. is hot. So why don't you give me the sort of rundown <laughs> using the Scooby Doo names? <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> Honestly, you can tell us about the people and then we'll we'll say that's scrappy. Yeah. <laughs> scrappy dudes in this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically our five person friend group has been more like a four person friend group recently. Mm. I wanna say in the past like two to three months. Okay. Um and that's basically the semester, right? Because we're coming to an end of this semester. Mm -hmm. So just basically this whole semester we've been like, mmm. Girl, what are you doing? Hasn't been treating us well. Oh. We got on a FaceTime call to talk about it, and she kind of like blamed it on us for not reaching out to her, even though we had reached out to her. When you say she's not treating you well, like what does that mean exactly? I think that could mean a lot of different things. Is she distancing herself from the group? And also, I want to hear about the FaceTime call where you sort of dress her down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, when, when I say she's not really treating us well, she's just kind of mostly distancing herself, but mm -hmm. then also, mm -hmm. like, being a little bit, like, petty about little things. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, like, if I'm just hanging out with one of my friends and I post something about it, she's kind of just like, hmm, looks like you guys had fun. 
Oh, I'm like, boo. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's. So she's not coming to the things you guys are inviting her to, and then when you are posting that when you hung out with other people, she's being kind of catty about it. Is what you're saying? Well, I don't want to use the word yes. catty. Okay, but is that I would sexist? like. I would like. I would like. I would like a different I don't know. word. Things got- Will's fucking canceled. Actually, <laughs> no, but yeah, she's being like disrespectful. L- learn from me, Will. <laughs> um, about you guys all hanging out, and she's feeling very jealous. Yeah, and does yeah. she have another friend That's group exactly that she's it. that she's sort of hanging out with in tandem with you guys? Is she sort of looking to swap friend groups? She's been hanging out with her like friends outside of school. Mm. You know, we're still in university here, so and she's from the city that we like go to university at. So you're sort of done with <laughs> sh- you're done and with and, and the phone call where you call up Shaggy. Are you all you're all together on one phone, and then or did, was it a group FaceTime call, or did you call Shaggy and say? Look, bitch, here's all the ways in which you've wronged us. Or was it more like a casual call where you're like, hey, we feel like we miss you? Like, what was the vibe like? Mm-hmm. So we were all on separate phones. Um, oh. And just heard of the drama. Uh, because, you know, we're not, yeah, we're, we weren't all together. We weren't like, yeah, let's plan a hangout without her and then FaceTime her and contact her. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that sure. was not the vibe. Got it. Um, <laughs> and this was like, I'm assuming scheduled. Yeah, scheduled. Like you were like, oh, yes. no, we need to talk yes. at this time. Okay, okay. Exactly. And, you know, I'm not a confrontation girly, so I was so nervous for it. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, I will give myself a fever over the smallest, like, confrontation. So I was just, like, dying. But basically, we got on the chase time. And also, like, we were just concerned about her, right? Because, you know, it seemed as though she'd been struggling this semester. And really, like, procrastinating very important things sure. that we didn't think that... Relatable. You know, like, if you procrastinate <laughs> that, how are you going to make that up sort of thing? Like, I don't know if she's going to pass. <laughs> You're seeing her struggle, yeah. <laughs> struggle not only with your friend group and with you guys going on mysteries together, but you're also struggling <laughs> with yeah. her sort of negating, um, or excuse me, ignoring responsibilities in her own life. That's exactly it. We've been pretty fed up with her for a while. Yeah. That FaceTime call happened a month ago, and we were pretty upset before that as a group. And you know how people feed into each other, right? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> so that's kind of what was happening. And I'll admit, I was guilty of that too. It's like I'd get pretty riled up thinking about it yeah. and talking yeah. about it with my friends. Right. Fast forward, we um, we were like, wouldn't it be so fun to plan a trip for that week. We can get something cheap on Travel Tuesday and, you know, do the whole thing. But because she hasn't been the nicest to us, she hasn't been talking to us, she hasn't really put an effort since then, we didn't really want her on this trip. Yeah. But now we're in this situation where she doesn't know about the trip. Oh, this is brutal. This is and she's going to know about the trip. Well, oh, she's she, gonna know, well here's you guys the, are definitely posting. Oh, well, because you, oh, by the way, you simply must post the girl's trip. <laughs> I mean, is it a girl's trip if you didn't oh, post? Course. Honestly, no. <laughs> and, uh, my question is, did you, when you were booking it, you obviously knew that this was going to happen, but have you been seeing her around when you were like around town? No, because that's another thing. You haven't been hanging she out? She doesn't go to class. Mm. Oh, yeah. She doesn't go to class. She never goes to class. You know, it's like kind of reciprocated because one of the things that she brought up was like, oh, like you guys never reached out to me. And it's like, yes, we did. Yeah. And also, we haven't heard from you since like September. Here's what I would do then. I, I think I've got actually the solution that's going to be everything that you're going to need and more. <laughs> It's about to do your taxes Please. and it's about to help you graduate. All oh, right. But uh, <laughs> when is the trip? The trip The trip is next month? No, February. Oh, okay. So that's perfect. So <laughs> basically, this is someone who's clearly going through something. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. They're obviously too. going through yeah. something and it's not going to be something you can fix. Yeah. I think also group thinking, mm-hmm. like the way to talk to her is going to be not what you want to do. She's going to probably receive mm-hmm. any sort of criticism or whatever if it's one on one, if it's met with yes. empathy, yeah. and if it's like you guys genuinely being like, "Hey, I miss us hanging out." Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say that not that you guys did do a, a group Facetime where you were like, "Bitch, you need to step up" or whatever. <laughs> but if there was mm-hmm. like, I think it's hard to hear from people all at once, like yeah. Miles is saying. I think one on one, where it's just appealing to like, "You are my friend, and I miss right. you." Um, 
I think that's going to go over better. Uh, but obviously you guys are frustrated and you are kind of fed up. And it just sounds to me like she's like going through a major depressive episode. It's yeah. essentially yeah. what I am hearing. Now, uh, that doesn't excuse any yeah. No, it doesn't make it okay. But I think but. What, what you should do is instead of just telling her about the trip, I, w- I think that you, it could come from you or whoever's closest to her in the group, sending a text or a meetup, mm-hmm. just being like, hey, I really feel like we used to be a lot closer and mm-hmm. we're not anymore. And I just like am really bummed out about this X, Y, and Z. And I wish that things were different, but uh, that's like kind of how I'm feeling. As long as that you send a message like that, that's met with empathy. Because what that's going to do is going to have her, like when she finds out about this trip, it's going to feel, yeah. it's going to make sense. Whereas right now yeah, she right, feels yeah. like we right. talked, but like, yeah, like we're still fr- like, obviously I would be invited to the trip, you know, like yeah. you don't want it to come out of left field. And then look, if right. she does a fucking total 180 and it's like, Hey, like yeah. whatever, then you could consider an invite her to the trip, but yes. that's probably not going to happen. No, seemingly. No. But mm-hmm. I think you just have to prepare her for the level of like out of the group that you feel that she is right now. Yeah. Rainy, what are your right. thoughts? Yeah. Girl group expert over here. Girl group expert. Yeah. I mean, I totally agree. I think that like the other, I mean, like the non-confrontational, like, you know, naive advice that I have is to be like, oh yeah, well we were hanging out, you were invited, but like you didn't come and then we booked the tickets when you didn't come. Yeah. Which is also valid. Me and Daphne, we're we're like, yeah, we'd still like to be friends with her. Yeah. But you know, the rest of the group isn't really feeling that way. Uh, They're like, I'm done with her. I don't want her in my life anymore. So to yeah. Thing. Uh, then I think that it makes fa- it even more complicated. I think she will find out. And again, like well, I she's going to find a out. valid <laughs> fake excuse yeah. is I didn't think you would want to come. Right. Like, I think that that it sounds right. like she is not making herself available. So right. I think a valid excuse for no, like, she's 100%. not about it is like, we didn't think you wanted to come yeah. and hang out with us. You have shown zero yes. indicators that you would want to do that. Yeah. We booked these tickets and then like we didn't hang out for months and then, you know, like, yeah. And I, I, think, that's valid. I think that if you like if you and Daphne, you guys are interested in bringing in Scooby back into the crew and Scooby, um, you know, she used to be fun, but not anymore. Really she yeah. used to be sniffing around and solving Eating mysteries. Treats. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I just think if you if you if you do have a conversation with her before the trip, um, then you you could essentially be like, look, we did we did plan this trip, but make the conversation about how you want to be better friends with her. Yeah. Yeah. You know that you're worried you're losing this friendship right. as you're about to graduate, and like it means right. a lot to you. I think if you have that conversation, then you say on the trip, we did plan this trip yeah. without you, but I wasn't getting the sense that you wanted to go, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. you know. Or you could have that conversation after the trip. It's just that her feelings are going to be hurt more probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think it would be right. smart in January. You and Daphne or just you or just Daphne or, so it's, you know, do your own thing. Velma and Daphne hanging out with Scooby. That's right. Scooby <laughs> can be Fred. It can be freaking Scrappy. <laughs> well, they, Fred and Scrappy are not interested. <laughs> They're not interested They're in hanging out. out. Fred on, and Scrappy are done with Fred freaking and Scoo- are, are Scratch Yankee. Best <laughs> That's right. I'm but, just saying, like, I think if you if you have that conversation before she finds out about this trip she's not yeah. invited to, yeah. it will make sense. And even if it still stings a little bit, it will be like, oh, I get it. Whereas if she's on Instagram in February and it's like, why are There's all my worse. friends, yeah. even, though, even yeah. if you, you haven't hung out with them in a while and yeah. things are kind of rocky, why are all my friends hanging out without me on this big fun trip that I'm not included in? Like, I think if I think it would yeah. be a mistake to not right. tell her before the trip, but that yeah. doesn't mean she has to come. <laughs> no, you think you would tell her directly? Right. I think I would just let her understand why. Okay, well then, yeah. I'm just saying before the, you she sees Instagram posts, because yeah. I'm just thinking about the Instagram of it all here. <laughs> the likes. Um, yeah. yeah. Shares. <laughs> before, she sees, yeah. before she sees the digital content you guys are going to make when out you, of your yeah. beautiful trip. You're going live, um, making you're, salmon, <laughs> making margaritas. We're having so much fun. We're thanks always for the, going live. Thanks for the bits. We're always going Regular live. Regular people love to go live on Instagram. It's not weird. It's um, not weird at all. It's just an act of care. Like, it's like being like, uh, we do, I am thinking of you. Like, it's not like we just booked it and we don't care about you at yeah, all. It's not yeah. that we weren't, that we it, right. it unintentionally excluded you. We did intentionally not have you on this, but I didn't get the sense that you were in a place that you wanted to go. We care about you so much yes. you're not invited. Yeah, exactly. 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 <laughs> she also may be upset by not being invited, yeah. but also it's not your responsibility no. No. to invite someone that you feel is not being kind mm-hmm. to you. Or, I, or And especially if there's a group scenario where yeah. all of you are like, this is not working out. Like, why is she not yeah. hanging out with us? Why is she being weird to us and being jealous, right. et cetera? Given that you guys are in college and it's about to end, this could be like, you know, <laughs> it, yeah. like you don't want to end on a bad note. 
you know? Yeah. I think I think Miles' <laughs> idea is really good of like coming from more a more ca- compassionate place and being like, I miss you. Like I want to know yeah. like, what's going on from your end. Because I think like there might be something that you don't know about some, like how yes. Daphne treated her point. or like how, what she's. So I think like the trip is like, is contingent, like how you handle the trip is contingent on how that conversation goes. I would agree. Yeah. Cause I think there might be, um, right. I, I'm interested to hear what she says. Yeah, me too. You yeah, might have it, the answers. And, and that doesn't have to be a confrontation. That can be just like a conversation about yeah, your friendship. Not a and, you know, yeah. you, you, and a then, confrontation and then, can be a conversation. And that's the new merch. Yeah. <laughs> and that's on merch. <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't, it's not. You, wow. I just ultimately think that you can get like, can, can convey that you care about her, but also that you've been frustrated and that you're here for her. If she's going through a hard time, whatever. Yeah. Well, by the way, thank you so much for calling in. And why don't you give us your closing arguments before you go? <laughs> like what I'm going to say to her. Yeah. I don't know what you, what are your closing thoughts? How are you feeling after your stunning <laughs> advice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect advice by the way um you. yeah you know what honestly like i've been in so so in my head about the whole situation yeah and as i mentioned i hate confrontation and that tends to like jumble my mind so much yeah and mm. you know this is something that some of my friends just want to put off and not think about mm-hmm. but i'm just i i can't stop thinking about it and yeah. i know that if we don't talk to her it's gonna go poorly Yep. But right. yeah. it's not something that I want to do. <laughs> so yeah. you could text her about the trip, like before it happens. If yeah. the other conversation went okay. Right. But I ultimately think this is one of those things where like having a little bit of a remove to react and sort of type up your thoughts is actually yeah. a benefit mm. because in person it'll terrify mm. you, like you uh-huh. said, and you may yeah. not actually say the things you need to say because you're too afraid to yeah. get it out. So and you can end the text right, with, would love sure. to talk about this in person. Too. Yeah, exactly. would love to. Yeah, yeah. you can give her. You the, could start the conversation via text and then end it in, in, in person. You just want yeah. to give her the yeah. context to right. freaking read the room when she realizes that you guys are having margs on the trip. You guys are freaking posting your margs. <laughs> You're going live. Yeah. You You're are posting. crashing <laughs> bird scooters. You are going go-karts and paintball. <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling in, Velma. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thank we, you so much. We hope you have a Feliz Chavidad. Feliz Chavidad. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Thank you so much. Love the show. Thanks, thank Ciao. You. Thanks, Velma. Ciao. Thanks, Ciao. Wow. Thank you, Ciao. Thank you, Ciao. <laughs> Feliz Ciao, Vidal. It's maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's so good, dude. <laughs> well, uh, as always, there's only one more segment. We've been teasing it all day. I know. We got a little <laughs> real during. Rainy sort of opened yeah. up about an ex lover. <laughs> if you ever heard it, the, I, I think you would crumble. I think you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm being perceived. Really? Yeah. Some people don't like to be perceived, not yeah. me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that attention, baby. Famously, I'm sort of mainlining attention. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of that, yeah. Uh, it's time we get real on a segment we call Get Real. In an effort to learn more about each other and ourselves, we force a genuine moment. Mm-hmm. Sort of did that backwards. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I sort of I said even... the whole thing backwards. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering as the year comes to a close, mm. what is something that you feel you could have done better this year? Um, well, A regret. Uh, I would say for me, I, the, probably the biggest one is not saving money for my big <laughs> European vacation. <laughs> uh, for which, that's not the entire reason I'm in the hole. I also was depressed after I got broken up with that I was yeah. spending a lot of money on takeout. But then I decided to not change any of my habits and go on a wildly expensive three week vacation. That's awesome. And so for me, if you're thinking about overspending, yeah. my advice for you out there would be maybe don't. I'm such a big treat. <laughs> Myself, I know I love the same because it's like it's hard because life is hard, Mm -hmm. and at every moment, I feel like every single person I know deserves a little something Mm -hmm. for how hard it is to be a person. And it's like, yeah, you get broken up with, you have a bad day at work, shit is so fucking expensive. Just put treats in my mouth. No, I'm like, you do deserve (laughs) clams, you do deserve having an oyster bundle. Or a crawfish. You get oyster bundle on Groupon. <laughs> yeah. I think an oyster bundle delivered to your house. They might be spoiled. They might be spoiled by but the time you, the Vespa gets there. Yeah. But no, I, I am such a big treating myself person. But Rainy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of like, okay, things I could have done better. I think this 
to get really real. Yeah, yeah. This summer was pretty tough because I my dad had some health stuff and yeah. I was fostering a kitten who died I and know. like some other stuff. And so I don't know. I think in times like that, it's like regret. It was like I was kind of just trying to like handle it, you know? So it's not really like regretting. It's like, oh, like that was hard, but I don't know if I... It wasn't even like there was a lot of choices. A lot of times it was just like head down. Yeah. Try and like breathe through the contractions, try and like Completely. be like it's a season. It's like, it's this too shall pass. Yeah, that's interesting. And honestly, I, br I bring this question up fully. Like I don't have many regrets mm -hmm. and I think that that is apt. Like when things are really difficult, mm -hmm. I really believe in people not being like I should have like, yeah. yeah, because it is so hard and all you can really do is just mm -hmm. move forward. Yep. And like, yeah. When something is really difficult, like uh, it's just hard to have a clear head. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to be like, I shouldn't have ordered takeout. Yeah, but in I mean, that I day, have, but, but in that no, but <laughs> to to freaking tee you up. Yeah, being like, I'm so I'm like sad. I I want a, just a little something nice, whatever. I so get that. Mm -hmm. I think it's like it's so easy to once you've gone through something like that, be like. Well, I I could have just had beans and rice. Maybe you could have, but I yeah. think that it's I don't know. I totally get that. Oysters yeah. are the only thing that's going to solve this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I do like oysters. I I will say clam bundle. <laughs> you got to get the clam bundle. <laughs> I just I think that you're not wrong. I I I just find that like the um like sometimes that can be an excuse too. But in general, I yes. agree. Yeah. Like, I think if someone's going through a hard time and they're like not as nice to their friends as they want to be, and they come back and are like, yeah. "Hey, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. this was going through," it's yeah. like, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, like I'm not. I, so, I just I feel like I am endeavoring to be better at managing my time on this earth. There's only so much of it, and mm -hmm. I'd like to be a little better. That's why I bought this mm -hmm. damn planner? Uh, <laughs> call back to the beginning of the app. Call back. Huge call back. Um, like. I'm just saying, uh, there's no, I, I regret not saving, but it is true that I don't look back and go, oh, I was so dumb for spending all my money like this. Because yeah. it was like, well, I don't really know what else to do. So I'm just, this is totally. what I'm going to do for a while. And uh, it's not like the best set of choices, but it's not worth getting, holding on to resentment, you know about like, oh, I could have done this better a year ago. It's like, well, it's a year later, pal. <laughs> well, no, I, and I think I come at it from that, like, you're just doing the best you can thing because, yeah, I had like a baby this year. It was yeah. the first year I had a baby. It's crazy. And it, it was it so, is crazy. parts of it were so difficult that I was mm. truly just like, I hope my friends understand that I didn't go to like this drinks thing. Oh. Or like, oh, like there's events that are oh, happening yeah. that I'm just like, not only would I not be fun, I'm so tired yeah. that I can't even fathom going out to have a good time. Hundred yeah. percent. And uh, it's just because that kind of stuff is exhausting. And you're also probably the first of your friend group. Absolutely. So the they first don't of my even have no. any kind of yeah. 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 There's no context for being right. like, oh, like, what do you mean you don't like, or like an yeah. event being at uh, six o'clock. Yeah. And it's like. There's no fucking way I'm going to an event at six o'clock with both me and Sarah. Right. Like the baby's bedtime is six thirty. We have to Yeah. And I think that navigating that a little bit has just let me be like, you know what? Everything is okay. Yeah. As long mm -hmm. as I'm kind to everybody, like yeah. I can flake on plans. I could do all this stuff. It's not yeah. nice to do, but I'm just like, I sort of don't have a choice at some yeah, point. 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I mean, to you be know. fair, you do have maybe the most understandable excuse in the world. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it was hard to get me used to. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to like, to make light of that. I just am like, I feel like I would love the excuse. Like, I don't want to have a child by myself or- uh, <laughs> You want a kid for the excuse? Well, I'm just yeah. saying- you, but, And by the way, that's a great reason. But I'm saying <laughs> that like, if I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, my baby was kept me up all night. I can't, it's like, like oh people it's like okay you gay okay, there you go I, yeah but uh, yes I get what you're saying although society should be organized more like that to be honest like we make it pretty hard I would say I think it's also made me uh, more accustomed to accepting other people's excuses yes oh. having a baby and all that stuff has made me more be like oh when things are whatever I'm yeah. like oh you know what like I get it it's fine like yeah. whatever people are going through, like, yeah. oh, you're canceling last minute. That's honestly great for me. Like I, that's <laughs> so great. Like Same. I would love to see my friends. Yeah. I would love to do all these wonderful things. Yeah. I do feel so connected to my people, my community. No, but when course. people cancel, I'm just like, you know what? Awesome. Like yeah. it, whatever you're going through. One time we, uh, you didn't come to a party and you that's were like, true. I was feeling sad. And I was like, honestly, that totally well, makes you, sense. I, and you, it's fine. I knew you weren't like upset. I was just never, like, never, hey, never. man, I wanted to go to this. Uh, but I, I totally understand yeah. that I just, as a valid piece of like, yeah. I don't know. And I, I try to, as much as I can, like, I don't know. P life is really difficult. It is. And <laughs> I, I think this is one yeah. that Rainey was saying at work the other day, oh, like, yeah. 
Be, they never tell you. <laughs> what did it, I say? She was basically like, they never tell you how hard adult life is going to be. And it's like, yeah, wh- why would they tell you that? Like, <laughs> hey, if you, when you get older, things are going to be worse. No, it, but it's like, it, there's so many highs and lows. It's obviously. highs and lows. It's highs yeah. and lows. But it is just like, uh, uh, especially like, I don't know. I think that because of the way we consume news, because oh, of yeah. the economy being fucking crazy expensive and everything yeah. a nightmare, yeah. it's just like, life is really hard. And I feel Well, there like, are a lot of conditions in America that yeah. ma- this is, at, at the end of the day, one of the things you not having regrets like i think you have had a hard and like busy year but i hope that you're able to look with the perspective of like i've got it pretty damn good oh my god Uh, of course i do by the way well that's what that the thing i always say me and sarah i'm like i feel like i'm doing really well and it's still fucking hard yeah Yeah. and it's like so if i feel that way yeah then everyone else who doesn't feel like they're doing well isn't even immensely more immensely 100 percent. you know and i think that that's the crazy part of it yeah yeah but this is the thing the beauty beauty of human beings is that we're like incredibly adaptable creatures we can adapt to hostile environments we can adapt to hostile bosses hostile work schedules whatever (laughs) like yeah. We can adapt to Host, all of it. Hostile, staying at a hostel. <laughs> Being adapt to watching staying. the movie Hostel and watching people get tortured. We can adapt. <laughs> we can adapt to watching Hostel and Hostel 2. <laughs> I think they've a lot of Hostel sequels. But hostel 5, maybe. I don't know. No, but that is very comforting. Yeah. I also think like as long as you cancel and be nice about it, yes, being nice about always. it makes such a big difference. Always. Yeah. Like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I really wish I could see yeah, you guys. The, yeah, if you put thought the into it. The tone of like, yeah. hey, I fucked this up and I know I fucked this up and I'm sorry about it. But but yeah. I am going to cancel yeah. is like so much better than just like got to cancel. Sorry, not going to make it like, Suck, yeah, fuck yeah. That. yeah, I want people to feel I it. will say I do think with uh, with texting, it's like there's so much of a f- you need to be more effusive in an email or a text than you would in person because it'll just come across more naturally there. If you're like, I'm so sorry for missing this. But if you write so sorry, like, does that <laughs> convey it in, in written form? I say, yeah, no. yeah. Um, so you got to do your English. You've, you're an English major. So lucky you. Well, I was. Yeah. You're well trained yeah. for these texts. Like 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, guys, uh, Will, where can people find you? You can find me at W Whit, where I will, of course, be doing a big post on June 1. Always, um, baby. Always. And I am hoping to maybe incorporate my idea for my birthday party into the big post. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm still oh working God. on the creative, I guess is what I would say. June yeah. 1, everyone. June the creative one. is, it's, it's bubbling. And it's going to be the biggest one yet. It's bubbling. Rainy, where wow. can people find you? I'm at Rainy Toll on Instagram and on TikTok. And I'll probably be going live. <laughs> you, everyone go to TikTok. Never, for Rainy's live. <laughs> I never get notified that Rainy Toll, is, it's Rainy Toll has gone live. I've heard it once, be. but here's the thing. Then you get like, people from high school on and then you're like oh my god this is so many you would be like hey what's up just waiting for a couple more people to join <laughs> it's so funny anyway everyone thanks for listening to the show and if you are feeling perfect I'm happy that you are <laughs> uh, and what do I say at the end uh, no matter where you are just remember the perfection is only a there you way. go you found it that was a headgum podcast <laughs>